the ramifications are worse than you can possibly imagine. They don't want you to buy gold. They'll set the price of gold at $4,000 an ounce. The conversations I'm having with people are very interesting. There are some bad things on the horizon. Buy your precious metals online from SD Bullion. New customers get gold and silver at spot by visiting sdbullion.com slash new. Hi, Yank. It's good to see you here. No, it's good to be here. No, it's, like, <laughs> it's like a vacation. Is it? Yeah. You get away from the shop? You get away from the shop. It's like a vacation. Oh, what happened today? Anything interesting? Well, it's been, it's been crazy. And, you know, while we're giving a shout out, we, you know, I've, hesitate to use names so we've gotten used to not using names but That's i had a true. customer who sent me a check because when he was in the store um i put all the gold bars in front of him and uh i inadvertently put a 50 gram gold bar with a group yeah and then he wrote me a letter he said uh you know i got this 50 gram bar and i think i paid for a a one ounce bar. So he sent me a check for the oh, difference. I really appreciate that. Wow, that's nice. And that's um, good. He, he drove all the way from, I think it was Ohio, <laughs> to get here too. Ohio? Yeah. And you're just getting people from all around the country. We are. We, to you. We, and today was very awesome. interesting because yeah. we were talking some very big deals. It's been crazy. And um, the conversations I'm having with people are very interesting. Um, but I hope that, you know, this election doesn't, uh, hurt too many people. Um, you know, I obviously I don't know which way it's going to go, but, right. uh, there are some bad things on the horizon and, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, at least, um, Kamala is doing, making efforts to change her positions on a number of topics, <laughs> but I wish she would look at her tax programs because some of those are very dangerous. Um, you know, unrealized uh, capital gains, I mean, that's heresy. I get a lot of people saying, well, that's not true, Yankee, you're misrepresenting it. It's only for people that have, what is it, 100 million or whatever they had. Like, I know, you're shaking your head. I, I was like, guys, when the income tax was initiated, it was only for the ultra-rich. It was never it was, supposed to be, right? right? That, yes. That's the way it was introduced. Don't, don't worry about it. One to two percent. Yeah, one to two percent, yeah. It always goes that direction. So it when they let does. the camel's nose into the tent, the whole camel well, comes Well, the, the other thing, if you give a government permission to control prices and wages, the ramifications are worse than you can possibly imagine. Um, if a government has price controls, they can pick something that they don't want you to buy and set the price. As an example, mm -hmm. if they don't want you to buy gold. They'll set the price of gold at $4,000 an ounce. And, you know, people will question that. will say, well, um, what if I sell to somebody? Is it only going to be $4,000? No, no, no. You sell it, mm. you get $3,900. But if you give a government like the Soviet Union... Um, price controls, wage controls, it will be the worst possible outcome. Yeah, we have a, a major problem with um, the tax policies, the economic policies, especially of the Democrats. But I'll also say that the economic policies of even most of the Republicans have been suspect for a, quite a while now. I, I sent you an article, Economic Liberty Now Has No Place in either party. The rise of neo-populism means those who prioritize free markets have no political home. Tim, I feel this. Trump's uh, spending, since everything he wanted was rejected by Nancy Pelosi, mm -hmm. um, he put his foot down. He said, don't bring me another spending bill uh, that does not have money for the, for the border wall because I won't mm -hmm. sign it. And Nancy Pelosi said, okay. <laughs> and so that bill that had the spending for the border wall was full of pork, uh, the worst bill ever. Because mm -hmm. uh, they had all these projects, completely unnecessary projects, and paybacks to their campaign donors. He walked right into it. He demanded a spending bill that had money for the border wall. He did. And that's what he got. 
but you know, full of the worst kind of pork. Now, going back a ways, one president in the history of this company country, country yeah. had a line item veto. Okay, mm-hmm. and he worked in partnership with Newt Gingrich to uh, balance the budget for two years until the Democrats. It was five Democratic senators that had that line item veto taken away from their own president. But um, yes, with a line item veto, any president could actually balance the budget. But it, now it, you know, the Supreme Court had to decide to have the line item veto overturned, and it was. But um, the only way that you can balance a budget is if the president and the Speaker of the House work together. Right, right, right. If, um, you know, we, we have, the Republicans have the House now. Um, if Trump gets elected and they don't work together to stop the outrageous spending, then um, that's the end of the Republican Party. Because everybody will know that they're just as much a sham as the Democratic Party. Tell me if you don't feel this way. American politics is now in the grips of a kind of neo-populism, and in particular, on the abandonment of the free market, limited government worldview. Here, here's the fact, and I've been talking about this all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, the New York financial markets have gotten too big. The top uh, six or eight uh, Wall Street firms control more money than our entire debt. And the mathematics of that don't really work out very well. Mm-hmm. Um, BlackRock, I mean, I've seen some estimates as much as $13 trillion under management. Um, but you got BlackRock, you know, Vanguard, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, Morgan Stanley, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. BlackRock is probably the leader in how much money they have under management. Mm-hmm. But when you take the total of them and understand that <clears throat> a lot of that money is nothing but more than thin air, um, you know, and that's you know, basically you buy cryptocurrencies. What are you buying? You're buying thin air. You uh, you know, have a contract in gold or a contract in silver. What is it? It's actually thin air. That's not capitalism. Capitalism is where all these people, all these money managers came from. They were born capitalists. They were schooled capitalists. They learned that capitalism is the only way to run a country because it builds everything and doesn't destroy anything. Capitalism was the vehicle that supported free enterprise. Free enterprise is our system. It's a free market system. Um, And without capitalism, we wouldn't have a free market system. But um, I think right now the concentration of wealth in all these companies down in New York is... um, Capitalism is in conflict with the the hedge fund mentality. But it's that's got to change. Yeah. That's got to change. They need to stand their ground and fight for right. Mm-hmm. And it's um it you know if they don't uh the Republican party is going to be lost. It's going to probably be replaced by a third party. Um and third parties never win anything because the money's on the other two parties. That, yeah, it's it's a rigged system. It is a rigged system. <laughs>